This episode of Android Authority Q&A is brought to you by Squarespace. It's the only one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio. You can check out a free trial without a credit card and get 20% off using the promo code ANDROID9. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to this week's Q&A. This week we have a lot of great questions about the Android 4.3 update for the Galaxy S4, what the best tablet for a college student is, and a whole lot more, so let's get started. Ritvit asks, when will Android 4.3 come out for the Samsung Galaxy S4? The official word out of Samsung is the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy S4 will get an update to Android 4.3 sometime in October. We imagine they're going to wait until after the Note 3 craze dies down because you don't want to overshadow a device launch with update news. However, thanks to carriers and other unforeseen delays, it could be later than that, so don't take our word for it 100%. That's just what Samsung is telling everybody right now. Heather asks, What would you recommend as the best tablet for a college student? There are many different lists of top tablets, however, I am looking for one tablet that is the best for a college student. As a current college student, I have shared this frustration before in trying to find a tablet that performs well but is also cheap because as college students, we're generally very broke. In the Venn diagram of performance and cost, there is only really one right answer and it is the Nexus 7. You can pick up this year's Nexus 7 for about $300 and it does pretty much everything you need it to do and it has top of the line specs. If you're extra broke, you can probably get last year's Nexus 7 model for about $200 or less on sites like eBay. Derek asks, Hey guys, I want to get the Oppo Find 5. Can you tell me which carriers it will be able to run on? According to the spec sheet, the Oppo Find 5 is compatible with up to HSPA Plus 42 on the 850, 900, 1700, 1800, 1900, and 2100 megahertz bands. This means you can get 3G and HSPA Plus on T-Mobile and AT&T. It's also worth noting that the phone does not support LTE, so if you're looking for a device with LTE, you may be a little disappointed. It's also worth mentioning that the Oppo N1 was recently announced, so if you're not 100% on board with the Find 5 just yet, it's worth giving that phone a shot. Hey guys, so we're going to be designing a blog really soon that gives you a sneak peek behind the scenes view of how Android Authority does things, and guess what? We're going to be using Squarespace. We decided to use Squarespace because they constantly improve their platform with new features, new designs, and even better support. They have 20 customizable templates that are incredibly easy to use. We know if we need any help at all, they have a support team working 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Also, you can try Squarespace for free without a credit card, and when you do decide to sign up, you can use the offer code ANDROID9 to get 20% off. Again, that offer code is ANDROID9. Adam G asks, Will my Evo LTE see the light of day? In this situation, day is another update, perhaps the Sense 5 and Android 4.2.2 or a 4.3. I wish I could say I had some good news for you, but as of right now, there are literally no rumblings about the Evo LTE getting an update anytime soon. There have been rumblings about the One X getting an update, and if the One X gets an update, the Evo LTE might also get an update. However, you need to look no further than the HTC One S owner to know how those rumors can turn out sometimes. So keep your fingers crossed and it could go either way. John asks, Is there a way to have my HTC One X or any Android device use Atomic Time for a specified website like time.gov like a computer? The answer is sort of. There are Android applications which will let you sync to an Atomic Clock, which Atomic Clock is totally up to the application. Without root, you'll be accurate between 1 and 60 seconds, and without root, it's pretty much spot on. Your best bet is to go to the Google Play Store and search Atomic Clocks to see which apps sync with which clocks and see if you can find one that works with the clock that you need it to work for. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this show, check out some of our other ones. You can find the written companion to this video and the social media links in the video description. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. <laughs>